good morning, good morning, good morning, you lovely lot. It is Wednesday. What was that? Good morning. Good morning. I've got someone with attitude next to me. Uh, this is squirting. She's squirting. I came back from the school run to find a dodgy transaction being done on the doorstep. Would you like to see what the dodgy transaction included? What are you <laughs> cut? What was that? No, I'm just, I'm looking, you say dodgy transaction, I'm looking like I'll be dragging my head backwards. Uh, what were you dealing on the doorstep? With louse. Of course. As you do. What What have you got? So we have got dairy cows. I'll let you and, open those oh, up. Oh, really? Yeah. We see how big these bad boys are. There's so, a pretty big one in there. Where's Mama gone? Look at Mama and babies. <laughs> Do you not like them? What? Well, they're just very big. It's not that I don't like them. It's just like... Well, I don't know. Your noises are implying you don't like them, Emma. Well, they're just... I don't know what's really in there. And I think, you know, it's like kind of rummaging your fingers through. <laughs> it's Tranchula pops out. Well, at that, oh, that's knowing, big. No, that's, well, you don't have these. Oh, my God. Big, Mama. So those are called dairy cows. They're white yeah. with little black specks. So I give them a little squirt. Because, give them a squirt. You know, you Just to, to put context to the Emma's squirting. Yeah. You have to keep them moist. Yes. Um, and you give them fish food. So they're fishy and moist. So what you're saying is it's a fishy, moist environment? Yeah, that makes them thrive. They thrive in a fishy, moist environment. They do indeed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Giant orange. These one I'm not as excited about. I mean, they are different. They're a bit plain Jane, aren't they? In comparison to what some of the others. Yeah. No, it doesn't seem. They are cool. cool. I really want a duck. A duck one. Well, at thirty pounds each, that's the you thing. That is a me thing. You buy them. I never knew this was. A I might just go and buy some duck ones, you know, because I really feel like I need them in my life. There's not as many in here. I have birthday money that Lee gave me. You he's seriously going to be, buy a he's, thirty pound woodlice for your birthday money? He's going to be so excited that I've bought woodlice. He's going to be spending you spend too much time up at the farm now. Yeah. You're doing weird things. But I've always I've always liked bugs, and he knows that. So yeah. yeah. Hi. Oh. Uh, let's put the lid on these. I was quite shocked at the size of these. So which ones are those? Are those pandas? No, those are your zebras, zebras. the original zebras. They've got big. They have, actually. I'm amazed. There was some on that log there. That Harry, they're still, like, thriving. Well, they're honest. quite easy to keep, though, aren't they? Yeah, this is also what we're talking about, though. Yeah. Um, these little bug pots. But you said you found a panda one in the garden, just in the garden, didn't you? And it wasn't one that Ozzy had brought out. I like the fact they're proper roly-poly ones. Yeah, they're huge. Can you see that one? It's really hard to give context to them. Yeah. Where are they, Emma? Oh, you'll find out that the pandas are no longer in there and that's why they were in the garden, because Ozzy has... Released them, maybe? Removed them all. These were the expensive ones, so I would be slightly emotional if there was... I can't see any. There's lots of buggy things. Oh, there, there we go. There's one. One does not breed, though, does it not? You need more than one? Are they hermaphrodites? I have no idea, but they do roll up into little balls, so... I don't think that helps with the breeding, Emma. No, as in that might be more in there. Oh, right. That we can't see because they rolled up. There was a baby in there. They are black, white, black, which is why they're called pandas. They're not, they're white and black. No, they have. They've got black head. Oh, black white head. Body. There we go. Enough of that buggy stuff. I need to hoover a teenager's bedroom. It's a lot better than it has been, I'll be honest. But there's a whole pile of clean clothes, which she was meant to hang up. And she just threw back on the floor. So I might, well, I might have to nag her to do it again later. Or I just do it myself and then I know it's done. She couldn't find a school uniform this morning probably on the floor anyway uh, i'm going to hoover because it does need a hoover i'm going to open windows and let some air in because it's listening me and then i'm going to go up the stairs with the hoover i'm going to hoover along the landing the boys rooms emma and rob's room and then i'm going to go up and do the sheep and i'll take the dogs with me okay that 
That is much better. I've emptied bins. I've put clothes away. I've hoovered. Right, out you come, puppies. Hide it up in the bathroom. Hoovered in there. Hoovered in here. And in the middle of doing that. I was going to clean the bird out. Emma wanted me to clean Sully out. But I realised what the time is. And so we're going to go up the yard. And we're going to go and clean out the stable. And then I need to just give uh, Ziggy a bit of a clean up. Because he had a bit of an upset stomach. And he's fine now, but he had a bit of diarrhoea. So I need to scrub his back end because him and Nelly are going on a job this afternoon. Um, I shall take the work phone with me. We had a phone call on the work phone yesterday, so that's good. Um, oh, actually, I need to ring that woman back. Oh, it's on my list. Email that woman. Right, let's go down the yard with the dogs and do that job. I've also given this a bit of a hoover and a tidy up and try to get rid of some of the cobwebs um, in this area. Just hoovered it all out and made it a little less messy. There's only the front of the stable that needs cleaning, to be honest, that little bit there, because it would seem that Emma forgot to open that gate last night. Thankfully, it didn't rain, so they've not been wet. But um, yeah, the shelter was actually closed off last night, so I need to go and sweep that front bit and then reopen that gate for them. I think you look lovely. I cleaned up your bottom area. Don't eat the washing up liquid. Right, I'm going to take you. You can have a biscuit. I'm going to take you back and get your brother in. You talk wants to say a huge thank you to Asda for supporting us by offering us these fantastic treats for our visitors. Thank you. Back at the house, and excuse me, Sally. I am about to fold this up. Hopefully that get my ear chewed. Put this in the bin and then hoover out the bottom. Sully looks like he'd like to try and get out. Good boy, Sully, you stay there. And then while I've got the hoover out, I can hoover out the base. I get to this point in the day and I always feel like a complete scrag bag and I smell like a sheep. So uh, yeah, I, I showed you the good cleaning of the sheep uh, because actually Nelly wasn't too bad uh, just needed a bit of a sponge bath but and I knew this was going to be the case Ziggy had had a bout of diarrhea uh, at the end of last week beginning of this week and yeah it 
it's all stuck to him. It's all dry, you know, he doesn't have it anymore, but it's all dry. And we did check because we don't want to get a fly strike or anything like that. And But I knew he'd need a clean up even if he wasn't working today. And he did need a clean up. So yeah, that was really disgusting. And my hands are never going to not smell like sheep again. I've cleaned under my nails. I have used bleach to clean out the bowl that we were using. To I've bleached the sponge we were using. I've then bleached the sink in the stable. My hands smell more like sheep than bleach. And I've got to go and eat food, so. But that's part of my life now. From the winter time, I tend to smell like a sheep more than any other time of the year. Speaking of food, I've got this. Um, now, where Kenzie works, they sell food as well. And one of the things they do is if there's anything slightly wrong, like it's, it's at end of date, or this one had a slight, the plastic film wasn't completely sealed on the meal. Um, then they put them out into a room, or in this case, these are frozen things. So they put them in the freezer and they put them on a shelf and they put these red crosses on and they say to the staff, take what you want. And it's all free for the staff that work there. Um, so he messaged me and said, I know you love this cook, these cook meals, mum. Uh, how do you fancy these things? And I chose this. It was a wild mushroom and aubergine lasagna. And it just had a little bit of the plastic peeled up, which meant they couldn't sell it. Um, but I'm willing to take that risk. So that's just gone in the oven, goes in the oven for half an hour. And in the time it's going to take that to cook, I'm now going to go and finally hoover up the stairs and hoover upstairs. That is my mushroom and aubergine lasagna. I've sprinkled a bit of extra cheese on the top. Got pulses and grains in it. It's very tasty, smells lovely. Emma's back from town. She had to quickly pop out and buy a new vape because she had lost hers. It, well, actually she's lost two of hers in the stables over the last two days and we haven't been able to find them anywhere. So I don't know if the sheep have got a secret vape stash. Anyway, she's outside. I'll show you what she's doing. She is finishing off her kennel that she's building. You lot stay there. She doesn't need any help. Thank you. <laughs> Tea. How's it going? Yes, um, it like... It's not quite long enough. No, so I've got a plan. Got a plan. I have finished lunch. I have finished hoovering. And I'm going to put this stuff away and get on with the next job. How's it going? Yeah. These things always take longer than you expect me to do. Oh, yes. This is like an all day job. Yeah, I haven't got all day. No. How are you felting? It's heavy. It's a two person job. It's a worry job. Yeah. Do you reckon this will get wet? It's meant to absolutely chuck it down tonight. We need to put something over the top. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, felt is heavy is the issue. Yeah, it's annoying. And yeah. It's annoying. I got Kenzie to help me when I felted the roof on the shed. Love it. Okay. Well, these tablets keep giving me a cracking headache. That's not good. They're moving to yesterday, isn't it? Oh. Not functioning. I'm not. No. I, I'm feeling sorry for myself. I don't know why I'm feeling sorry. <laughs> Change of medication will do that. Yeah. It's. I now understand why they have to start at the weak ones. Can you imagine if they put you on the full whack? Emma's medication has had to change because you can't get hold of the ADHD medication she was on. I've forgotten how they made me feel when I went on them last time. I like, I do. I, do I you? You're very quiet, which is very odd. I know that because I physically can't, my brain is still functioning, but I can't talk so easily. <laughs> and I'm, I'm hoping that it was going to take a couple of months, two, three months. And I remember when I first went on the last time, it took a couple of weeks before like, the nasty side effects when? went. And you just have to kind of grit your teeth and persevere. Yeah. I've got a union Sunday. That's going to be a um, Saturday. Saturday. There you go. So that's going to be a completely worth it. Yep. These two have found something disgusting to roll in, which is probably fox. Because that seems to be the only thing dogs like to roll in. I suspect bath time will be happening later.
next job on my list is to deal with this thing that has blown over in that high wind and all the stuff that was with it. I shall retrieve this ball because Tweed is very much into her tennis balls. That can go back in the garden. But I am going to bin all of those plastic balls because Ozzy doesn't play with them. They just blow around the garden. They get munched up in the uh, ride-on mower and it's just plastic littering the environment. I may as well gather up other bits of rubbish that I'm finding as well. That's the old doormat. That can go straight in the bins. I'm going to take the wheelbarrow that I bought back with me earlier. Go and pick up the rubbish bags. I can also, ooh, it's a bumpy ride for you all, pick up these bits of litter. As well, that are blowing along the driveway, some of which is theirs, that'll be an Emma can, some of which will have blown in from the housing estate and what have you. Bump, 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 bump. That was quite productive. I went around the garden as well and got rid of loads of rubbish. Um, so now the driveway doesn't look so cluttered or so rubbishy. I'm going now and I might be able to squeeze in a quick cup of tea before I have to go and do the school run. Had a good day haven't you at school? Yeah we've just been watching um, a YouTube video about geckos. Now Ozzy wants a gecko. They're quite hard to look after to be honest. We are going to go and get Sky and Harry from Geckos school. Geckos can climb up here. Geckos do climb up walls, you're right. Can climb up your hair. Mm. But um, I need to go to Asda first, so we're leaving a bit early so that I can go to Asda on the way and then go and pick up the kids from the bus stop. So, and also my phone's dying, so I'm going to go and plug it in. But we were just saying it looks like it's going to chuck it down with rain, doesn't it, Oz? Mm. There's only two greens for the geese. Oh, not the geese, for the chickens. Yeah, look at this bit here. Quite often there's some cheap stuff that's reduced. Oh, there's lots. Has it got a reduced sticker on it? Yeah, right. Pop some of those in them. Yeah, they can go in the trolley. One, two, three. What are you wanting for dinner? We will see the Halloween things, but let's pick dinner. Do I do chicken? You want a big bit of chicken? Barbecue chicken? No. No? Heather wants want, want right A steak. Yeah. I'm not sure you'll eat steak, to be I, honest. I, I, I do eat steak. No, I, I don't think you will. It'll, it'll be too chewy for you. You won't eat that. I know you won't. I'll find some bacon. Uh, what about gammon? You'll eat gammon? What gammon? Um, I will show you. Okay. Let's go around the corner and have a look. Right, let's get some burgers for... I don't like burgers. Harry and Sky. Let's do these. Right, you want gammon, don't you? That'll be this way. I don't like gammon. Gammon's thick bacon, love. Bacon. Okay, do you want smoky bacon then? Yeah. Okay, put that one back then. The red one's smoky. So you don't want thick bacon, look. Thick bacon. Yeah, thick bacon. Thick bacon. Yeah, thick bacon. Okay. Thick bacon. Are there any Yeah, you can go and have a look at the Halloween. Ooh, spooky stuff. Oh, look. Are those bibs or would they be good on the dogs? That fit around the dog. Oh, that's 
really oh one of her eyes has fallen out that's horrible 250 yeah i need it for my dad as near as okay well we're not buying anything right that's something no don't you can't put that in that's something you have to buy with mummy pick it up Oz. pick it up good lad scary oh look scary clown oh that's even worse now that's horrible Go on then. <gasps> oh, you're scary. It's a skeleton. Let's pop it, hang it back up again. Scary. That's like a Terminator Borg thing. Yeah, that one, Terminator Borg. Uh, the light probably. Is it, is it the eye that lights up? No, it's not, is it? Oh, this is nice, Aussie. Look. Look at these. Oh, I like that. That's nice. I like that. Yeah. Look at these. Oh, look at the clock, Aussie. Ready? Oh yeah. Well, we're not getting those now, sweetie. Spider web. Oh look, there's a spooky Halloween game. You got to catch the ghosts. I get them. I like them. I like these. That's blood splats. I like that. I like these. Okay, we'll get this one game and we'll play it later. Yeah. I haven't got money for lots of toys though. We've got one thing, okay? Let's go, let's go get the rest of dinner. Yeah. Oh yeah. I like this. That's £12, that one. Oh, those are raisins, are they? Yeah. What we got there? It's a kilogram of raisins. I think we needed 700 raisins. Okay, so Sultanas is the other one we need. We need, we need, how much is in here? Is that 500 grams? How many do you think's in there, Aussie? 500 so we need three of those do you want to put those in the trolley for me please buddy and then we'll go and find the spice they are good that's what i need chuck them in that's it chuck them in brilliant and that one thank you thank you that's really not so hard thanks right thanks let's go find the ice the ice cube bags I fed the kids. They had, well, Aussie's had gammon, uh, grapes and chips. And the others have had chips and burgers and olives. And I'm pinching the last bit of gammon and having it with my carbonara. It's climbing up me. What one have you got there, Aussie? This one's just climbing up me. What one is it? A cow one. It is a cow one. They do just stick to you. Pardon? They do stick. They've got little sticky feet, haven't they? Wait. Oh. Whoop. Yeah, careful. They don't stick, come on. We don't want to. We don't want to hurt them. But these don't stick. Well, not if you hold them upside down. No. They don't stick upside down. They stick right there. They are not gravity defying. Yes. Look. Yeah, they can crawl in there. What do you think of that one? Yes. Like that one. Beautiful. Did you like the orange ones? Oh, where's it gone? There's hundreds of them ones. There were hundreds of orange ones. There's quite a lot in here of these as well. There's a hundred ones. Hundreds and hundreds of them. They need to go underground. Ready? Wee! Loads! They need to go underground. They do. They dig underneath. They make your house. And you they peel can. your digger hole with your finger and you make a house. Well, they like to go underground, don't they? They like to dig into the soil and hide. In That's here. why the soil needs to be wet. You like go under here? They do, they go under the wood and they go into the wood. They eat bits oh, out of the wood. Oh, yeah. That's it, nice and gentle. <laughs> Kenzie and Lee have been busy setting up this bit now that the bench seat has been sold. Well done, good job. When you've got your friends over, you can lounge here too. 
just need to find somewhere for a lot of this stuff so it's decluttered the dog food and stuff i just need yeah i need to give these crates to the right people i've put the geese in there oh thank you very much thank you very much good job good evening you lovely lot wednesday has come to an end it's eight o'clock i have now come home and had a shower done my hair and i'm just relaxing lee is now in the shower um i've caught up with him and kenzie we've had a bit of a chit chat a cup of tea together and i'm gonna have to sit and do some editing otherwise there will be no vlog going up tomorrow because i haven't done it yet um i have been enjoying when i have been able to be two days ahead of myself throwing in the odd little what's coming up in the next video and because i've kind of caught up with myself i'm a little bit cross because i'm not adding those little what's coming up in the next video little snippets at the end of my vlog um so i'm sorry about that because i know a lot of you did enjoy them if they're not there it means that i am literally working a day behind but if they are there then it means that i have space to play um so when i can i will uh that's just not happening at the moment anyway thank you very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed today's video and i will see you lovely lot tomorrow